Hi, this is Mike Trumper with Entaver Institute. Uh, moving on in our video series, uh, Introduction to Project Portfolio Risk Analysis. Today we're going to take a look at risk approval. And risk approval is how do we handle risks across the portfolio? Where do they, how can we set them up? When we add them, where are they available? How can we make them available to different parts of the uh, if they're added to one project, they may be applicable to other projects. So one of the things that we'll take a quick look at is on the project options, on the risk, what you can see is the risk visibility approval rules. And what this does is tells us the default, what happens when we add a new risk. And you can see here, by default, the risk is available only to the current project. Now, if we wanted to, I could make that risk available to the summary project right above. I could make it available to all the summary projects in the portfolio. Or we can make it available uh, at the, uh, across the entire project. So once it's entered in one project, <coughs> if no changes are made to it, it's immediately available to every single other project. Uh, for, the ex for this example, we're just going to put it on current project. Now, just so you know, I'm logged in as Mike T. Uh, so I'm a user, which means I have limited access to the hierarchy. <clears throat> so just to let you, if I go like that, I can't see that. The only... I'm set up the only projects I have availability or access to is the that one summary project. Now I'm going to add a new risk and we'll show you how we can track that. So here's the new risk. Um, it's available specifically only to this project now. We can see that. So I'm going to just quickly because this only has one activity in it, which for simplicity's sakes, and we'll quickly just add some additional impacts or outcomes to it to make it a little bit uh, so that we can see it on the risk register. And we'll just run a calculation. It should be fairly high. There it is. So we've uh, Done that. I'm just going to close this now. We'll take a look at that and we'll close it. Yes. Now, if we look at the Septimus, <coughs> we see because we didn't, that risk was not vis made visible, it's only visible at that one project, we can't see it at this summary project. So even though this risk is part, we'll take a look at this, even though the risk is was uh, uh, added to this DOS, we can't see it up here because it's not visible. So what we want to do is we want to make it visible up at the uh, summary project level. So we'll go back into Septimus. We'll go and take a look at that risk. There's that new risk. And I'm going to change the visibility of that. And I'm going to say, you know what? I think it's a, it should be available to a, across this entire program because it's a, it's a common risk. And it, the managers on these other projects might want to take a look at that, might want to add it. Let's see if it has any impact on, probable impact on their project. So we'll go OK. OK. <clears throat> and I'm going to close that. And what we can see now is if we go back to if we go back to the Septimus, and there it is, the new risk. We can see it. So it's available now. So I could add that risk up at the pro at the summary project level, but I don't want to. But I think that actually this new risk is applicable 
to this project and there it is and now I'm going to assign it and in this one I think it's good on the risk mobilization and there is a again we'll say there's a 50 percent chance that will occur and we can do the same thing all over again do the risk adding the risk assignments etc oh. etc et And we'll just calculate that. <coughs> oh, really didn't have much impact on that uh, particular project. But now, if we go and we'll close that, we'll we'll save it. If we go back to the projects and we look at the Septimus, we can now see that we've assigned that to that new risk because we've changed the visibility, and we can see that it's assigned to. It has three assignments on the Dawson project for relative delay and safety relative cost increase, safety risk, and on the Septimus one, which is a relative delay and a relative cost increase. So that's how the risk visibility or risk approval system works. It's called risk uh, visibility because it tells us where that risk is going to be visible in the system. We Just to go over that again, I'm going to close that out. On the project op portfolio options, we can set the risk visibility default approval rules. When that risk is a when that once that risk is created as an administrator or if you have access to other um, or a manager, if you have access to additional projects, you can go in and if we want to, here's a risk right here. <clears throat> and I could make this risk, this look, risk look like it's probably available. <clears throat> we can make this risk available to the entire enterprise or we can change where it's available. So I might not want to have it at the enterprise level. But I'm going to make it available to these particular ones. So one of the things to know is as a if you ha if you are a uh, manager or a user access to a project, you can always enter a risk into the system. A user can always enter a risk into the for the project they have um, access to, but once they've done that, that risk cannot be disseminated around the rest of the portfolio unless unless it's by a person who has access a has the ability to change the risk visibility rules for that risk and B that they have access to those projects. Uh, so typically uh, a user is not going to uh, change the risk visibility uh, unless he has unless that user has access to multiple projects. What will happen is a the uh, manager or owner of that risk will be able to go in and change if they think that that risk has been identified and we want to make it applicable to other parts of the of the uh, portfolio, they will go in and be able to change how that risk is uh, propagates and is approved throughout the uh, portfolio. So, what what levels and what areas of the portfolio will, will that risk appear in, and then obviously be allowed to be assigned to a project, and then run those uh, do your risk analysis on. So, I hope that. This helps out a little bit on uh, on how the risk at the risk are managed at the portfolio level. You enter it in one place, and depending on your uh, risk visibility you, and your role, you're able to move that risk and get it approved for 
using risk visibility to different parts of that portfolio, different projects, different summary projects. And uh, and thus, we can have a, a single risk enter in one project, which is applicable to many, and then we can start to apply that to all the projects it's applicable to and see what that, how that overall risk impact is on the project portfolio.